fight back here despite the damage to the left knee. Really feeling it. Really grabbing at it there, trying to fight through it all. Oh! Look at that, even, even just running, getting Irish whipped there. Takes Bay down to a knee. Back elbow there by Chris Bay. Oh, Shelly sending Bay out to the apron. Oh, oh. DDT by Bay! Even a one-legged man gets a DDT twice a day. And now, oh, Chris Bay, it looked like for a moment was feeling good. Chris Saban trying to slow him up. Oh, right to the head. Oh, they can direct the traffic here with our cameraman. Oh, oh. Injured leg or not, take a look at the athleticism of Bay. Look at it, off of the one leg, off of his good leg there. And now it's Shelly who's going up top trying to slow down Chris Bay. Oh, and a jaw breaker there, using the top of his skull. And now Ace Austin with a missile drop kick. Ace Austin also did a springboard there with his one arm instead of two like he normally likes to. Ace and Bay here fighting through everything the guns have thrown at them. Austin out of the Shoulder heavy contact there oh, in the midsection. Oh. Ace Austin with a kick right to the face of Saban. Well scouted there by Ace Austin. Oh, look at the ability of Ace Austin, one of the bright young stars in pro wrestling. Oh, the top! Spoken to Dango, spoken to Henry. We all believe in going after the design. And in comes Santino Morella. And start things off here. Getting in, involved pretty quick. The legend that is Santino Morella. And listen to the crowd here in Toronto. Santino from right here in Toronto. His last televised wrestling match was almost nine years ago. Now he has wrestled sparingly since. We know his Battle Arts Academy nearby has been open for 10 years. He trains other people in mixed martial arts. He trains in the craft very often, but still the nerves Whoa. of this evening. Oh, the Cobra nearly got unleashed on, on Angels again. But you, you're right, Tom. I mean, there's something about, especially on this kind of a stage, one of Impact Wrestling's biggest shows of the year, coming back to pay-per-view. It's a totally different kind of thing. And not to mention his young son, Marco, watching him in person for the first time ever. Callahan will go into the matchup eye to eye with Santino Morella. Trending in the United States. We thank you all for tuning in around the world for our spring pay per view extravaganza rebellion. And look at Santino going after every member of the design, but the numbers just too much. Yeah, I haven't tried to fight off three at a time. Like I said, with an advantage, it already lies in the corner of the design. Four on three. The other side of the ring, Hendry, Dango, Morella. They did not care about that numbers disadvantage. They wanted this fight. Now, Morella, Dango, and Hendry, obviously their first time tagging together as a trio. Oh. All the design, as far as we know, have unity. There's been speculation of what do you mean, as far as we know? There's been speculation whether or not what Callahan's been up to has been true or not. Did I not just put that all to bed? The speculation, yeah, it's out the window. The steps are complete. Callahan is out the well, Now look at this, look at this. Angels is working at Morella's son, Marco, at ringside. And Eddie Edwards has a second lease on life. He did that one strategic move. Open the door, open the lid for Eddie Edwards here in this last rights matchup. And the casket is open, PCO is down. Eddie Edwards might have his opportunity here trying to drive PCO into the casket. PCO's got his arms locked, fighting him off. Well, PCO resists, the casket's still open. Oh! And these two battling up the ramp onto the stage here at the Rebel Entertainment Complex. They can fight wherever they want. It's just got to end up in that casket. Oh look out, God. look out! Oh, and Kenny the Kendo stick off the skull of PCO. That's 
the signature of Eddie Edwards. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, 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 not this. Oh, my God! Oh, look out. Boston knee party! Smashing PCO into the casket. And look at PCO, he's split open. Oh, now Edwards telling the official to open the casket. PCO being pushed into the casket. The, the barrage of offense did it. Although able to turn oh, things back down. over, watch the shoulders if you're Mike Bailey. Oh, shoulders down, I have broken up. Remember Miguel, the only man who's pinned him one-on-one -on -one since July. The speedball Mike Bailey. That's right, these two of course have gone back and forth many times. Now, you remember their encounter in the summer, they destroyed, destroyed each other's legs. Surprising either one of them were standing for weeks after oh. that one. And Bailey gets to the bottom rope. Miguel relinquishing the submission. The match continues. But as we always ask, how much damage has been done? Bailey was able to, to turn the hold over at one point. Both guys have seen the worst end of things. But look at Bailey. Look, struggling to stand right now. Going to make things like Ultima Weapon much harder to hit. So Gresham's been eliminated. It's down to Bailey and Miguel for the X Division Championship here at Rebellion. Miguel firing away, egging Bailey on. Oh! oh. oh. Miguel let the pain fire him up to fight back for his X Division Championship. Lighting up the chest of Bailey. Bailey once more and drives out Miguel. Oh, Miguel back. Oh, what a, boom, what a kick right to the face. The resilience of both these guys. somehow, someway, emotionally manipulate Tommy Dreamer any way he can. And now Tommy Dreamer trying to set up Bully Ray here. Oh, and twisting at the knee of Bully Ray, trying to torture his former friend. Bully Ray's earned this. Ah, uh, but there is Myers with the save here. And now Gujar now grabbing on the the bully. And remember, with all 10 competitors finally involved, this can only end via a pinfall or a submission in the ring. This can happen at any moment. And now, now that everybody's here, we can have a decision. Look at this, everybody getting tied up. Submissions all over the place amongst all 10 wrestlers. Who's gonna win in hardcore war? Everybody. Entangled in pain and chaos. And look at Killer Kelly and Masha Slamovich rolling out of the ring as the men are all tied up inside the ring. 
They all shot each other a look. Both bringing steel into the affair here. Oh! 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 Well, had, had no fury like women. Steel chairs assaulting the remaining members of each team. But lo and behold, Nick Aldis here in the impact zone. The national treasure, the two-time NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, the former Impact World Champion is here on Rebellion. Look at this, Kushida <sighs> not letting go. Tenacious oh, as himself ever. Wide open for those shots. Oh! And another kick to the left arm of Macklin. As we're looking for it, looking for that hoverboard lock on the floor here. Oh, look out. Oh! oh right on the table. Into the point of the French announcement. You're right, Tom, right on the edge of the table. And both men are down here at ringside. This has gotten nasty. I can see bits of debris. I think he chipped that table. It's, it's all over his trucks. Kushida looks like he's starting to build momentum. Tosses Macklin back inside the ring. This is the best chance Kushida's had so far. He's got to capitalize on this. We could be seeing a new world champion here and now. Oh, went for the left arm. Macklin. Kushida. Macklin adapts one more time. Uh oh. Uh oh. oh. Wait a minute, look This out. time. Oh, and Kushida is caught in the crosshairs. Macklin. That could be all. Sense of urgency here. The oh. dead KIA. That's it. KIA. New champion. Hits cross and the caught in the crosshairs, loads Kushida up, hits the KIA, but somehow, some way, Kushida digs down deep and stays alive in this championship. Unprecedented matchup. Unbelievable resilience from Kushida. What's Macklin thinking now? This this is the time, this is the moment that Macklin has to come to, that Macklin has to rise to. Yeah, the question is, has he planned for anything after his finishing maneuver? Has he got another plan in place? On the top! Oh, oh, there it is! Hoverboard lock! It's in! It's in the it is. of the ring! Is Macklin gonna tap again? And they're out there gonna shoot him! Nowhere to go! He's got one choice. Oh, look at that! Grace off of the ramp. A fall PCO took earlier in the night. Oh, and now Grace. Oh, oh. off of the ramp. Both competitors clearly willing to put everything on the line to get to the championship. Calculated offense. Oh. Take a look. The kick to the arm of Grace. And then this. Look at this setup. The moonsault off of the ramp. Leveling Jordan Grace on the outside. Taking things to all new heights to continue this historic, unprecedented night here at Rebellion. And the official showing some leniency considering how big of a night this is. We must have a new Impact Knockouts World Champion. Reventing the Queen's Gambit is Jordan Grace. And now Grace trying to use her power. Take it off her feet. Oh, yeah. Jack oh, cover by Perazzo. No! Great kick out there. Peraza, though, goes right back to the left arm. Oh! Oh! oh and a flatliner into the coaching clutch! Got Grace locked up, center of the ring. Grace. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Look at Grace getting the shoulders of Peraza oh. down and a kick out. Good thinking from Jordan Grace there. Not easy to turn that one around. It's not easy to think while you're being, while you're being stretched like that. Oh! Boot right to the face there by Grace. Morazzo in pursuit. Now trying to chase down Jordan Grace. Oh! Oh! oh God, man. back and forth here. Heavy spinning back fist. Oh, man, loading up Morazzo here. 